let's get started working on adding and subtracting metric units. We want to try to add some amount of liters and deciliters plus 5 liters and 2 deciliters needs to equal 7 liters and 1 deciliter. What we should do is try to make these so that they're all the same um, unit. And then we can convert back to these liters and deciliters. Well, there are 10 deciliters inside of a liter. So this 5 is really 50 deciliters. So this 50 plus 2 will give us 52 deciliters. And this 7 liters is really 70 deciliters plus the 1 gives us 71 deciliters. So what we need to do is figure out how much do I need to add to 52 in order to get 71. Now if we want to find the missing value, we can use subtraction to help us figure out what that missing value is. So we can do 71 minus 52 and we will get 19. So we need to add 19 deciliters as part of our answer. But we want to know how many liters is that and how many deciliters is that. Well, we talked about how there are 10 deciliters inside of a liter. So we can break this into 10 and 9. That means that there are 1 full liter plus 9 deciliters. Some amount of deciliters and deciliters minus de one deciliter and five deciliters is going to equal seven deciliters and 62 deciliters. There are 100 deciliters for every deciliter. So that means that this one deciliter is really 100 deciliters plus 5. So this all together will be 105. And these 7 will turn into 700 deciliters. So this all together will be 762. So we're trying to figure out how much do we need to start with so I can take away 105 and get... 762. Now to go backwards, since we want to find this first number with subtraction, we can go ahead and add these two together to find the original value. 762 plus 105 will give us our missing number. It's 867. Since we know that there are 100 deciliters in a deciliter, we can change this to 800 and then 67 deciliters. The 800 will translate into just 8 deciliters since there are 100 inside one deciliter. So we have 8 and 67. How many deciliters in 8 liters? minus one deciliter and eight liters gives us three deciliters and zero liters. Well, we see eight liters minus eight liters does actually give us zero. So we can just focus on the deciliters. So really we're just saying something minus one needs to give me three. And that number is a four. Four deciliters minus one deciliter will give us three. Some amount of liters and deciliters plus four more deciliters will give us eight liters and seven deciliters. So since we're only adding on four deciliters, we really need to look at that part first. So in order to go from four to seven, we need three more. So there's going to be three more deciliters, and the amount of liters didn't change. So it's going to be 8 liters plus 3 deciliters. Six deciliters and three liters plus 
another amount of deciliters and nine liters will equal seven deciliters and two liters. There are 10 deciliters in a liter, so this turns into 60, so we end up with 63. And this amount right here, seven deciliters is really 70 liters, so we have 72. 63 liters plus how many more liters will get to 72, and that is nine. That means that we, are, we already have this nine liters right here, so we actually have zero deciliters that are being added. Five tons and 250 kilograms plus one ton and 321 kilograms equals six tons and how many kilograms? Well, we can see that five plus one does in fact equal six. So there's no conversions to be done. We just need to add 250 plus 321. 250 and 321 will equal 571. Five meters and how many decimeters plus two meters and one decimeter will equal seven meters and seven decimeters. Well, we have all of the amounts of meters, so let's check that. Does five plus two really equal seven? Yes, it sure does. So now we just need to think about our decimeters. We have some amount plus one needs to equal seven. That amount is six. Six plus one is seven. One decimeter and nine centimeters minus one decimeter and how many centimeters will be four centimeters. Well, one decimeter and one decimeter will cancel out to be zero, which makes sense because in our answer over here, there are no decimeters. And we have nine centimeters minus some amount needs to equal four. Nine minus five is equal to four, those five centimeters. Three tons and some amount of kilograms minus two tons and 622 kilograms is equal to one ton and 298 kilograms. Well, three tons minus two tons is one ton. So we only need to look at our kilograms. So we have some amount of kilograms minus 622 needs to equal 298. This number needs to be larger. What we can do is we can add the two numbers that we have together to find out what the original one was. So 622 plus 298 will give us 920. So this missing amount of kilograms is 920. Seven tons and 385 kilograms plus one ton and 415 kilograms will equal how many tons and 800 kilograms? So let's check. Does 385 kilograms plus 415 actually equal 800? Let's check that out. 385 plus 415 does in fact equal 800. So that part is correct. We only need to worry about our tons. Seven tons plus one ton is equal to how many tons? Seven plus one is eight. So we're left with eight tons.